sponsored by Food City and Dale Seasoning. Today on Chips on the Grill, we're doing a great recipe for homemade tableside guacamole. With any recipe, especially guacamole or salsa, you want fresh ingredients. And we've got those here today. We have got tomatoes, we've got lime, we've got peppers of different colors, garlic, of course, but the real key ingredient to guacamole is the avocado. Avocado, let's begin with that. This is a delicious, nutritious fruit. It's got almost 20 very important vitamins. It's healthy, it's good for you, and it's high in the right kinds of fat. But you wanna pick out the right avocados, and for this recipe, we'll need four. Always remember this. The greener the avocado, the less ripe it is. The darker the avocado, the riper it is. So you wanna get four good-sized, dark, kind of soft avocados. For the avocado, to remove the pit, take a sharp knife, go all the way around the avocado itself. Once you've done that, pull it apart. Should pop apart very easily. Then take your knife, sharply but firmly, hit the pit, twist it a little bit, and there you go. Once the avocados are pitted, it's a piece of cake from that point forward. All you have to do is take a spoon, Gently scoop out the flesh and put it in the bowl. Next, we want to mash the avocados up and then we start adding in the garlic, the other seasonings, and a few peppers. Then you want to gently mash the avocados up. Use a fork or a spoon, but the important thing here is don't over mash the avocados. You got to have a fresh lime. So take a lime, cut it in half, gently spread the juice all over the mashed avocado. Now this will not only add a great citrusy, slightly tart flavor, it'll also help preserve the color of the avocados themselves. Now, my secret ingredient in the tableside guacamole is a little bit of fresh orange juice. This will add a little bit of sweetness, it'll help balance out the tartness of the lime, and it also will help preserve the color. Now, chop up a tomato chop up and finally chop up some peppers. Red, orange, green, that's entirely up to you. You also want some fresh garlic to go in the mix as well. Onion, definitely. Do a yellow onion and a red onion or a Vidalia or a little bit of all three. And if you don't want to do the chopping yourself, Food City already has all of this all combined together. That way they've done all the work. All you have to do is spoon it out right on top of the mashed and juiced avocados. Serve it either on a tortilla, you can add this to a taco salad. If you wanna have just the blue corn chips or the conventional white chips, you can do that as well. Take your guacamole, put it right in the center. The final two steps anyone can do. Scoop it up and eat it up. I'm Chip and that's Chips on the Grill. Chips on the Grill, sponsored by Food City and Dale Seasoning.